now that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League has been out for over a week for the official release, most of you have likely beaten the game and are now adventuring off into the endgame content of the game. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you the method of getting tens of thousands of Prometheum super easily and super efficiently. So be sure to check this out, you will not want to miss this. This is actually my very first video inside of the official release of Suicide Squad. Thankfully, I was gifted the game by Warner Brothers, so thank you very much, WB, for gifting me the game. But don't worry, all of the thoughts and everything are still my own. They just gave me the copy of the game. I have been playing the game on my live streams over on Twitch and on this YouTube channel as well. We've been growing an absolutely stellar community of positive individuals who love this game. So if you are looking for people who love this game or want to find other people to play with, be sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to join my discord as well. I plan on making much more content on Suicide Squad coming up as well. But now let's jump into how to get a stupid amount of Prometheum like I have here. In Suicide Squad, you will notice a large number of resources throughout the campaign, but one of the most important currencies that you'll actually acquire is Prometheum. This is an endgame resource you can gather by completing the main campaign, and it's how you enter a bunch of activities in the game like incursion missions, killing time missions, or even the mayhem missions as well. And each one of these missions requires anywhere between 1000 Prometheum and 3000 Prometheum per activity that you guys want to complete. And if you're trying to get some of this Prometheum, you might be trying to grind some of the world missions or side missions to actually gain it. And that's not a bad idea because you can get a couple of thousand Prometheum from doing those missions, but the issue is how fast you can complete these missions. Each one can take you like five minutes even if you're fast. So it's not the most time efficient method of acquiring Prometheum. But today, I'm going to show you guys how to acquire enough Prometheum to where you won't need to worry about it for a very long time unless you're running like more than 60 incursions a day or something. So the very first very important step is after completing the main campaign you unlock new world tiers or difficulties for the game called invasion levels. These invasion levels increase the difficulty of the world and its enemies but also give you more XP, better loot, and more resources for each level that you go up. The most important part about the invasion levels though for this video is the extra resources that you get for these levels because this will increase the amount of Prometheum and other crafting materials that you get from this method that I'm going to show you. So this can be done on any difficulty that you wish to do it on, but to make it the most efficient as possible, I'd recommend setting your game to invasion level 5 for the best results. And now that we've covered the invasion levels, what's the actual farm? Well, let me show you. So in the game, you will come across these little squiddy alien bug things called Ludonauts. They are marked on the map, and they even give you a little radar to help you find them. And when you kill the Ludonauts, they can drop really high-end loot, but Brainiac has another type of these creatures called Cargo Knots. This version of the alien thingy is bright red and loves to be in these weird tight little spots. They can be hanging from underpasses, they can be on top of roofs, inside of weird hiding spots, or just chilling in plain sight. But the main difference with these guys is that unlike the Ludonauts, they are not made known to you until you see them. There's no radar helping you, they don't show up on the minimap until you engage with them, and sometimes they're actually hidden pretty well. They can be found during the campaign playthrough as well, but once you get to the end game, they start dropping Prometheum. But how much Prometheum do they actually drop? Is it actually worth hunting them down if they can be so randomly placed anywhere in the world? Well, actually, these little guys drop about 1,500 Prometheum each on Invasion Level 5. That is more than double what some of the missions on the map will actually give you. And it's like 500 more Prometheum than some of the other missions will give you as well. So just roaming around the map looking for red aliens for an hour can net you like 100,000 Prometheum depending on how many you are actually able to find. The best part about these little alien things though is that as you hunt them down and you kill them, they can also drop other materials for crafting as well. And as you roam the map, you can kill the rooftop turrets for even more crafting materials. So you can just put on some nice music, put on a show or a movie in the background, and zone out flying across the city and farm tons of materials. It's absolutely amazing. And then what I also do while roaming around looking for these bugs on top of killing the turrets is accepting contracts and shooting the drones too. That way I can get Prometheum, crafting resources, and get my daily contracts done while I level up my daily care package super fast. And you can also kill tanks along the way too for even more loot chances. Now that's what I call efficiency. 
And of course, when I went through testing this for this video, I was finding about one cargo knot every minute. And they give about 1,500 Promethium per cargo knot that you actually kill. So if you did this for one hour, you'd have about 90 to 100,000 Promethium on average. It all depends on how much time you spend in between finding them or how distracted you get. But even in my testing, I was killing tanks, turrets, and drones at the same time, and I was just casually running around. And I still managed to get about 20,000 Promethium in about 30 minutes, which translates to about 20 incursions or 6 to 7 mayhem missions at about 3,000 Promethium each. So I hope this video helped you guys a lot. If it did, feel free to leave a like on the video. It would mean a lot to me if you guys did do that. But now, I want to give a special shout out to all of the new members on this channel. I turned on the membership feature sneakily before the game came out and didn't really announce it anywhere. But throughout the live streams on YouTube, we've had a ton of amazing humans who have been supporting this channel with the membership feature. So I wanted to thank all of the supporters with a special shout out at the end of my video to really say thank you. So special shout out goes to my amazing girlfriend nerd, I love you my Harley, Agent Reaper, Colton, Lottie, Goober316, Rabbit, Emperor Frieza, Dark Dimension, BJ, Proto Knight, Psych Villain22, Medi Warrior45, Spider Skywalker, Hobo Star, Jerzu87, Manny, and Green Ranger32. Thank you guys so very much for supporting this channel and for being the nerdiest of the nerds. This community is growing at a pace I never really thought possible, and this channel's growth would not be possible without all of you, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm curious though, now that the game has been out for about a week or two, what are your thoughts about the game? How are you liking Suicide Squad? And also, what mastery level are you guys on, and what character is your favorite so far? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to my channel, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Thank you so much for watching. Later, nerds!